The number one question that I get when it comes to the sacrament of confession is this. Father, do I really have to say the thing that I'm most embarrassed about? Do I really have to share that sin that I am most ashamed of? And that question comes in different ways. Sometimes the question is, Father, I haven't shared this sin from my past. Do I really need to say it now? Sometimes it's, Father, I forgot about this sin in my last confession. Do I really have to share it now? But usually it's always a pretty big burden. And it's the number one question that people have. Well, when you look at the Catechism for the Catholic Church, if you look in there it'll, and you look for the answer to this question, you'll find it. And the answer is probably unsurprising to you, yes. Yes, we do. But sometimes I feel like the Catechism of the Catholic Church is, first of all, it's a great gift. It really helps explain what we believe and teach. But when we read books about what we believe and teach and all these rules and guidelines, sometimes it can come off as abrasive or harsh. And so my hope today in this homily from this gospel is to shift our perspective, to not see this as a harsh teaching, but as a beautiful teaching from the church. And I'll start off by explaining it this way, but you know, most of us see a doctor at least yearly. It's probably a good thing to have an annual physical, annual checkup. I'm a little overdue on mine, so I need to make sure that happens soon. And, but when we go to our doctor, you know, we review our blood work with them, we review how things are going, and eventually, at the very end, hopefully everything looks good, and our doctor will probably say something like, anything else I should know? <laughs> anything else I should be aware of? And I don't know about you, but at times when I get that question, I don't really like it because... Sometimes there's a thing that's going on that's kind of embarrassing, you know, whether it's a digestive issue or there's that weird toenail or whatever it is, you know, not that I have those things, but. <laughs> but sometimes there is something embarrassing that we just don't want to bring up. And we think, oh, it's no big deal. And so we just keep it to ourselves. We say, no, doc, everything's good. I'm fine. Well, that might be okay if it's something very minor or very minor, but it's probably not okay if it could be something very serious. And so if we avoid it, and we don't tell our doctor, the one who has the ability to help us, to heal us, we limit his effectiveness because we don't give him the necessary things that he needs to help us heal. So when we think about the sacrament of reconciliation, it's about healing. Well, a story that I want to share that I think really helps illustrate the point comes from Father Mike Schmitz. And many of you know who Father Mike Schmitz is today. He's a wonderful uh, preacher, wonderful homilist. He has two of the most popular podcasts in all genres, which I think is fascinating. Bible in a Year, Catechism in a Year. And he's really popular, especially through the Hallow app. So if you've been listening to him on Hallow, you may have heard the story I'm going to share today. But... I want to emphasize it's a public story, so it's not like I'm sharing something private. But I appreciate his vulnerability in, in the story. So this is what happened to Father Mike. When Father Mike was younger, when he was about 22, he had just kind of converted and come back to his, to his faith, but he described himself as a punk. You know, he was still kind of a punk. And he got sick, and unfortunately he was in the hospital, and I don't know if it was really this serious, but there was a thought that maybe he might not make it. He might die. And so a priest came in to anoint him, and the priest said to him, Michael, would you like confession? And he said, nah, Father, I'm okay. <laughs> and as Father Mike tells the story, there's this great grief. You can see it in his face that he regrets this moment every day. Because forgiveness was offered to him, and he knew that he needed it. He knew he needed the healing that came from the sacrament, and instead he rejected it. Forgiveness was offered, but it was rejected. But that statement that Father Mike used, nah, I'm okay, is a statement that we are very familiar with, I think. See, the thing that keeps us from confession is this statement, I'm okay. 
I'm okay and you're okay. Here's the problem with that. If I'm okay and you're okay, then we had no need for a savior. If I'm okay and you're okay, there is no need for Jesus to come to die for us, to save us and to heal us. See, the reality is, is we're not okay. And we do have things that need healing. And we do need to go to Christ for those things. What I love about our gospel is how Jesus initiates healing for the apostles and for St. Thomas. How does he do it? He does it through his wounds. He, he appears to them, and in his risen, obviously he is risen, and he shows to them right away his hands and his side. And then he sees Thomas at a, at a later time, and he not only shows his wounds to Thomas, but he invites Thomas to come to him and to feel the wounds. What are we supposed to see here? We're supposed to see in the woundedness of Christ, the wounds of all of humanity. And we're not just supposed to see the wounds of all of humanity, we're supposed to see our woundedness. And this is why this is important. This comes from the first letter of St. Peter. It wasn't what we heard in our second reading, but it's in the same, uh, in the same letter. This is what St. Peter says. Christ himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds, we have been healed. By Jesus' wounds, we have been healed. See, this weekend is Divine Mercy Sunday. This weekend is when we celebrate and we remember that Christ gave us this beautiful sacrament reconciliation from this gospel. This is where we received the sacrament of confession. So when we think about that question, do I have to bring up that thing I'm most embarrassed about or most, or most ashamed of? Yes, but it's so that you can be healed. It's so that you can let go of the burden. It's so that we can be free. So my prayer for all of us this weekend as we celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday is we can learn from Father Mike so that when forgiveness is offered, we can accept it.